Hello to my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your reading. Scorpio, happy weekend. This reading is for uh, March the 3rd through April 3rd. We're coming up on the last quarter moon in this cycle, uh, Scorpio. We had a full moon in Virgo. Um, so check to see if you have Virgo in your birth chart. Virgo is a very meticulous zodiac sign. It's a perfectionist sign. The symbol is a virgin. It's an earth sign, divine feminine energy, right? And it's ruled by Mercury. Those are just some fun facts, right? So in your quiet time, the symbol is a hermit, right? So a symbol in, ter in tarot for Virgo is a hermit card. So in your hermit mode, while you're downloading messages about just thinking about what you need to, you know, emotionally part ways with as the moon is moving through the various, you know, um, zodiac signs, the moon could be in, in Scorpio right now, or it could have been it could be in Sagittarius, depending on what time you watch the video. While in filming, it's in Scorpio, right? So when you start, when you say, "I receive messages that when certain when I think about certain people, places, and things, my my feelings about it are unhealthy and feelings of wounding, right? So I of being wounded, or or that you've wounded someone else or hurt." they hurt you or you hurt them or whatever, it could almost make you sick to your stomach. Like just a depth of emotions of, you know, things that you may have been hurt for so long, carrying so much hurt that you didn't even realize you could have been hurting somebody else. So you've allowed them to hurt you. Right. So source is saying to you, um, that's your time to purge. Right. So when the moon moves into Sagittarius, the very things that you've been thinking that you want to aim for in life and you want to go after those things, you don't, you want a clear shot at it. Like you say, I'm aiming for, you know, a raise at work or I'm aiming for certain things. I want, I want to do it in a clear conscience. I want to be able to flush out that toxicity and, and those kind of things. And I just want to do it with a clear conscience. And so I'm going to give you the questions for the moon and Capricorn. The energy has already been cleared. I've already prayed over your cards. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. I'm talking to you if you have Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart, anywhere in your birth chart, inner, outer planets, and luminaries, right? So here we have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups, the Devil card, the Three of Pentacles, and also the Ace of Wands, right? In your Major Arcana, here we have the Devil card, right? So the Devil is always trying to make a, uh, a very crafty invitation, right? So that could be something from your past trying to resurface, uh, where the devil is like, when you think about the devil and you think about the character Jesus in the Bible, uh, you know, going on some kind of a fast, because I'm seeing a lot of water here. Here we have three of cups. Here we have nine of cups. Here we have the king of cups, right? Um, all I, I feel like somebody could be on some kind of a juice fast or drinking more water, like definitely help making healthier choices, right? Spending time near water, doing something to kind of sort of flush out and, and just seeing what your demons are, like finding out what your demons are, because everybody has demons, right? Here we have the three of pentacles and then also the ace of wands, right? I feel like somebody may have been, again, take only what resonates with you. I feel like somebody comes from a very creative family. Um, and I mean, I'm in a creative in a positive way, right? But remember, as things are being passed down through the generations, people choose to use their creativity for good. And some people choose to use their creativity for evil, right? Especially if you feel like, okay, I got a, I got a code switch or I got to, I got to act this way around certain people. I got to act that way around other people. Or I got to, I got to, you almost become a master at like trying to, you know, manipulating your emotions and but also manipulating other people's emotions. So source is saying to you, you're on the throne of your emotions and somebody's going to feel like they have hit the jackpot that something from your past is now over. Like I've had some time to, to, to sort through my own emotions and I can move beyond all this. Now everything is lining up perfectly for you. Boom, 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 boom. And so source is saying now that you're on your throne of your emotions and you're helping other people to adjust their crown. You're only trying to pour joy into people, like add to their joy, right? Because we have the well of joy within us, right? You're only trying to add to people's joy. You're trying to add to their creativity, add to their sensuality, add to their sexuality. In other words, you're really no respecter of person about who, what people's sexual preferences or those, those kind of things. You're only trying to add uh, clarity of emotions to people's lives, right? 
and teaching other people how to do the same thing like how to when when life is coming at you trying to stress you out and evaporate your joy or evaporate whatever this is how you can focus on that so that may find you um now that you're on your throne of your emotions that may find you you know like taking some time out to kind of celebrate and pour into other people um when whatever it is you left behind people expecting for you to be in a sad like sad face mode right one of the things that leading car here is three of cups the dark side of the number three is when sometimes people are doing so much that you eat you miss things right you think you multitasking but you can't see that you were actually born to inspire people by pouring into people and helping people to grow whatever seeds they planted, right? Helping them to line things up for themselves. But now somebody's third eye is wide open. Remember, we have more than we have more than two eyes. We have third eye, we got eyes all over our body. But source is saying to you, you know, the enemy trying to bring you back into something, trying to bait you into something like an old way of being. You so busy, so active, so doing everything else. You don't even realize that water is reflective. And so people thirsty energies that are looking to pour their toxins into your spirit, how they can, how they on the back end can hurt you. So I definitely see somebody has learned, um, learned how to get away from, you know, people who use their water for evil. Here we also have the three of wands. So this is where you're going to feel like two types of situations in particular, no longer your responsibility and you're learning how to discipline yourself. So source is saying, hang in there, you know, with yourself. It's time for you to start dreaming bigger and not go into a form of escapism, right? So you want to dream bigger, aim higher, dream bigger. That's what source is trying to tell somebody. It's like, it's time to possibly take a trip, get on some surfboards, you know, like I said, get that salt water going. And um, that's where you're speaking to ancestors. That's where there's that biggest uh, graveyard is the ocean. That's bigger than land graveyard is that ocean, Right. So source is saying it's time to release those, put some things to rest, let some things rest in peace and move on from some things. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. We also have the Knight of Wands. Right. So, again, source is saying to you, not only are you going to feel like, OK, now it's time for me to take a leap of faith into my own future because I have a window of opportunities open to me coming my way in terms of love, business and your personal and your professional life. I got a window of opportunities coming my way and I need to leave behind people who are cutthroat and treacherous and like to start rumors and, and burn people's reputation. I need to get away from those types of energies altogether, right? Because they have been, I gotta say this, keep this in mind, emotionally, you all are the smartest sign. So you can handle things emotionally that most people would break from, right? So for you, you may be like, oh, you know, that's not even that deep, whatever. But some people, it breaks them, right? Because of the toxicity. So you definitely learn lessons, you know, from that as well as you're continuing to move forward. Um, and then move towards the King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. So like I said, everything is lining up perfectly for you. Source had to, to, to teach somebody how to get away from energies that are um, really treacherous. Here we have Six of Wands. And so um, they'll definitely be reaching back out to you. It's some energies that definitely want to connect with you. But remember, two types of situations in particular are not. It's two types. It can be tied to 20, 30, 50 a thousand energies, people, places, and things, but it's two types of energies, energies that are, like I said, selfish, attention seeking, outbursts of anger, lack of patience, impulsive behavior, energies that are arrogant, inflexible, lazy. They don't want to do the work, dogmatic and prideful, domineering, jealous, competitive. They are um, boastful, attention seeking, careless, um, brutal, you know, and just their delivery, you know, and so you could wake up and say, you know, I'm, I'm in a great mood. And, um, for you as a Scorpio, emotionally, you like, that's just like water off your back. That, that doesn't even mean anything. Right. But for another person who could be really dealing with, um, just, you know, trying to sift through their emotions, just that dismissal that certain things are not, uh, that are not that deep could come across as insensitive to some people. So source is saying to you, now that you're understanding how being connected to certain types of energies are just can cause a lot of people burnout where you may not see it because it may not even be that deep for you, but you've learned that um, on both sides of that, on both sides of that. So 
if you could have been insensitive or somebody could have been insensitive to you, that they're also trying to go through their emotions as well. So here you are, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, right? So let's see what else we got going on here, right? Death card. Something is over. You decided to be on the rebirth side. This is your card right here. It would definitely be a trap if you were to go backwards to something. It would be uh, like a trap set if you were to go back. It's like you setting your own trap for yourself to go backwards in that. Like, I didn't catch the message. I'm so fixated on something, somebody, did whatever. Source is trying to teach somebody how to learn how to adapt, to spring forward. Like, this right here, this uh, this card right here is a cardinal sign. And it symbolizes, cardinal sign symbolizes... Um, um, moving forward like uh like taking some kind of action initiating change right so you're burying something for good like i said before and it's done if you're going to be fixated on something this is your car fixed energy if you're going to be fixated on something you're done and so somebody is saying okay i need to hang in there with myself i need to learn how to dream bigger and not go into um you know i desire bliss but I need to hang in there with myself because this card right here connects us to imagination and transcendence, right? Um, but the dark side of it is a person who goes into the spaced out, you know, completely just spaced out. I need to drink my troubles away. I need to medicate my troubles away. I need to do something reckless to get my trouble. Source is saying, no, sit in it and learn the lesson. That's what Source is trying to help somebody to do. That's how you're going to get to the King of Pentacles and also the King of Cups, which I see that's where you are. So I definitely see, um, you know, some energies. It could be the fire energies wanting to reach out to you, but you're definitely on your, you're definitely on your, on your path. You know, you're definitely on your path. Here we also have the Three of Pentacles here. So yeah, so. The energy that's coming your way, um, the energy that's coming your way, because I'm saying this because be somebody part of somebody's wish fulfillment, they are fin financially independent themselves. So you're not, you're not, whatever you've been praying for, they are not a gold digger. They got their own, okay? They're not a gold digger. They genuinely are attracted to your compassion for self and also compassion for others. They actually see you as an energy that, um, let me see, like I said before, we got the, um, you got two major blessings that you've been praying for trying to come in, right? And so that's why you want to sit in it in clarity of thought, clarity of listening. Like you don't need a whole bunch of noise around you at this time when you're trying to clarify, <laughs> you know, and trying to get some clarity on all of this. Like you need clear answers right and so that's what source is trying to tell you is that the things that you're praying for are coming your way but you also have to sit in the lesson for a minute and tell and hear what god is trying to tell you you know in this is that what may not be so deep for you if you miss it in other people you know then you're completely missing the whole point right um and so i definitely see what's coming your way are energies that are not looking to use you before you know, your how you um, invest your time, time slash money. I see somebody is being very wealthy or wealthy minded, even if your bank account doesn't say it yet. I see somebody being very wealthy minded, inspiring a lot of people, you know, and how to manage their time properly and also pouring joy into people's lives is a very wise, compassionate energy. That's what I'm seeing for you. And again, I'm talking to you wherever Scorpio is in your birth chart. That's what's going to attract business and love and or uh, money. Uh, I'm sorry, partnerships in business and or in money. The ones that you know people are not just attaching to you for just your name or attaching to you for your money or, you know, coming with some kind of, you know, uh, grab and run kind of situation, right? So so you'll know whose source is sending across your path to mentor. You'll know whose source. And let me just say this. You'll know whose source is coming across your path to pour into because they're also pouring into you, Right. They're also very wise. Age does not equate to wisdom. So it doesn't matter whether they're younger or older, they're legal age. That's, that's of course. But source is saying some kind of partnership is coming across your path in, um, in, in a way that you feel like, wow, okay, now this is what I prayed for. I have complete and total clarity of thought. This is what I prayed for in business. And this is what I prayed for in love. Okay, but I had to, I had to get away from all the noise. 
But sometimes you feel like you've poured out so much. You need a gang of people around you to all put their input. Like you're going through a Job situation. And even anybody who knows the character Job in the Bible, Job went from this person to this person, to this person. Nobody had the answers. And so even some of the people told them, okay, curse God. Joy was like, I'm not cursing God. You crazy? <laughs> like, okay, poor advice. Let me move on, right? So source doubles some things on the back end because it requires being by yourself. It requires being by yourself and being in hermit mode or crab mode and say, you know what? Hermit crab mode or hermit mode, being by yourself so that you can learn from the master teacher, which is source. It's nice to be able to ask mom, dad, grandparents, great grandparents, your friends. It's nice to ask all of those, ask all those people. But source said, no, I need you by yourself so I can pour into you. Adjust your crown and sit yourself down somewhere. <laughs> That's what source is trying to tell somebody. It's like, sit down somewhere. That's what source is trying to tell somebody. It's like, you're going to you, get your rest because let me download some stuff through your dreams. Get your journal out. Type in that journal, right? And, and keep it with you. Here we have the three of pentacles. So yeah, everything is lining up for you and everything is lining up for the energies that's coming your way in business and or in love. You definitely are a leader and a lot more gifts are being uh, passed down to you. The baton of gifts are being passed down to you. And guess what? It's exactly what it's a wish being fulfilled. Source, please help um, strengthen my gifts. That's what somebody's been praying for. Please strengthen my gifts. I want to know more. I want to broaden my horizon. I want to I want to connect with other people who are wise and compassionate. Get me away from these ruthless apex predators. Like, get me away from these types of energies. I want my gifts. I want to be able to use my gifts for good and not use my gifts for evil because I'm in survival mode. So that's what I'm saying. You got it. This requires some alone time. And if you don't like yourself and this, you scared to be by yourself, then somebody ain't ready. Somebody is not ready. If you can't be by yourself and sit with self and let all let source show you, you see, that's a scary thought for some people. Oh God. <laughs> right. But when, when sources, okay, you, you are under no medication, no, no, no other kind of spirits. You sitting there, just you and God, it'll make you cry sometimes. You're like, dang, I'm attached to that. What? Right. And we're talking about ancestral stuff. Oh, nah. So when source puts you with other, remember age doesn't equate to wisdom. So when source puts you across, send you across, I see you closing out cycles in love. I'm serious. Somebody says, Hey, look, You've gone from, you've gone from, you've gone from the full card to the world card that in the major arcana, right? So you've gone from zero, you've gone from full energy and a spirit sense. Somebody said, I've left the circus because they bring the clowns out to distract people, right? Even though you're around wild animals, right? About to tear that whole circus up. <laughs> You're around some wild animals and people don't even know everybody eating popcorn and smiling and laughing and, and eating cotton candy and having a good old time. But let one of those animals decide they sick and tired of that stick, that ringmaster coming up in there and telling them where to go. Watch them tear some stuff up. Source is saying to you, you've gone from all of that to the end of that, right? And somebody is just, somebody is like, listen, I've gone from top to bottom. I've been all of this fixed energy, I've been fixated in every area of my life. Like I just can't budge beyond something. But now somebody's learning how to adapt, adapt to change, right? So that's what you're grateful for. And so now your loved ones are saying, now we can pass the baton and pour some more creativity into you. So yeah, there it is, high priestess energy. We have 12 houses. That's what I talk about like in uh in your in your birth chart. Pull your birth chart please and find out where your the houses are, right? Very very important to know. Very important to know the houses, right? Those 12 houses. They're very very important, right? So each house describes a focus of experience such as your relationships or your career. Each planet will occupy one of those houses in any given um, house can contain more than one planet, right? So when you get to know your houses and like what they mean. So for instance, and I'll just give you a few here, um, just off top, your first house would be about new beginnings, birth, your self identity, right? So 
you know, the day where you were born, where the sun was positioned, right? Your sun sign, right? Your second house is a resources, possession, money. Your third house is how you communicate, right? Through your siblings and how you learn, right? Your fourth house is all about family and your origins. Your fifth house is your creativity, your romantic life, your children. Your sixth house is your routines, your health, your everyday life, and then so on and so forth. You got 12 houses, right? Please pull your birth chart so you can see what sets you apart from every other, whatever your sun sign is. You know, so I because I know I have cross watchers watching here too, because a lot of people have Scorpio in their birth chart, so that you can become so intimate with yourself that when you come in contact with energies that you may feel like I've spent a lot of time because the majority of cards here is money. This is time slash money. The energies you spent the most time around that's like blood relatives, family, like family. You were gonna create a family with them, friends that's like family, organizations that's like family, whatever, family, whatever your definition of family is. Source is saying that when you step back and you look at your assignment as high priestess, listen to how people that you've spent the majority of your time around, what do they, what do they, how, what are their belief systems with it that's concerned? They see it as evil, demonic. Like, what is it? Like, because that's, that's contaminating your water. That's contaminating your water. And people can be ruthless when they don't believe in the same things you believe in. Oh, that's demonic. That's evil. Them people going straight to hell in a handbasket with gasoline panties. <laughs> Woo! And they don't have a hell or Hades to put anybody in. But let them tell it. They do. But they're in their own personal hell. Here we have the magician card. So the source is saying very clear messages come to you. So start paying attention to it. Start journaling those messages. Start writing them down. Start start processing or trying to process them at the end of your day in quiet time just you and source what is source telling you what is source downloading to your spirit what is source telling you yeah so let's go ahead and close this out scorpios let's go ahead and close it out so yeah it's not all it, it's never all about money people i mean if anybody think it's just about money then that they on they they slow something's wrong because that's a paper note and coins that the I, I got to say this in an overview because it's different. And it's um, whatever country's um, treasury, you know, decides to set the value of that. The government decides to set the value of that because it's not just in whatever country. Because I know people watching from other, um, you know, other parts of uh, just the other continents from all over the world. But whatever your government decides what the value of that currency is. If the if your government decides they're gonna cut the value of whatever you have and have whatever, which I mean, it's so many signs around. It's not even funny. Like I mean, look look at it from like right now the what used to take to fill up your gas tank. You you think about like what you used to pay for gasoline. You know, like twenty thirty years ago, you try to put that same amount. You use that same amount of money, like that value of money. Um, for to try to fill up your gas tank today, you may make it from the gas station to the corner before the car says, uh, you tripping. <laughs> so some people are learning that, yeah, just because you've been around people your whole life or for a large portion of your life, you still, that does not equate to, you know, you could be wiser than they are or vice versa. So source is saying you're moving on from something that's been disappointing for you. That source has been trying to tell you to move on for a long time. So it's been trying to tell somebody to move on from some things for a very long time. So pay attention, pay attention. Somebody's way of thinking source has been saying, move on from a long time. Somebody thinks that, um, somebody could be thinking that people are strategic and they're, they got secrets and this kind of thing. When people could be moving in high priestess energy, that wisdom that's coming directly from source. Oh, they sneaky. They got secrets. I know they're not telling me something or whatever. Source is like, what if they get messages directly from source? And source is putting people, positioning people on their path to confirm, helping them to sharpen their gifts. But you got to open up to receive the gifts and, you know, to receive the gifts, right? That's why that's why some of your ex friends and ex love interests and ex family members that you don't even talk to anymore, you can't post nothing positive on social media without them assume you uh, subliminally, you know, coming at them. You post something like um what's a positive um like um um let's say you post something that says 
uh, happy trails. I mean, anything, anything you post, they think is a, is a shot at them, right? Happy. <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? Oh, they spreading all this joy and happiness for everybody else when they was pure hell on wheels with me. Like what? How did they make it about them? And you trying to spread sources like, look, hey, go on and be happy and be rich because for real, that's what source is bringing across your path. Source is not bringing a gold digging energy across your path. They got their own coins. They got their own currency. You know, they got their own crosses to bear that they're they're not trying to dump into your lap so it's like align yourself with those types of energies people don't expect for you to carry their burdens um because they're too afraid to break break cycles chains and curses themselves they're afraid to to create their own legacy wealth so those are the people that source is saying i'm aligning you with some people that's not afraid to break cycles chains and curses so yeah judgment right so Source is saying, yeah, something is over. Something is over. The judgment card is one of your, um, uh, if, if your sun sign is um, uh, Scorpio. Um, I know cross watchers are watching too, but Source is saying to you, you're getting away from energies that harshly judge. You're getting away from the judgment of the harsh judgment of other people and also receiving other people's harsh judgment. You're getting away from that, like getting delivered from other people's opinions of you and just working on self, like really cleaning off your root chakra. Like where did all of this begin? This root chakra right here um, is developed between the ages of zero and seven. And so, so whoever you are around during those times, source is saying, you're really seeing if there's any cracks in the root and you're starting to heal from there, you know? And, um, yeah, so the Empress card, you're definitely cutting some ties with some energies. You're not carrying other people's, um, you're not other, carrying other people's, um, whatever their, whatever their, their demons are. You're not carrying that. Here we have five of pentacles. Um, and then we also have the wheel of fortune. So somebody's going to feel very fortunate, you know, moving forward to just really sit with self and say, okay. I can't carry my own family. Like I can take what I need from family if it's if it's going to help me to help somebody else or I'm taking I'm take like I I feel like even in the the story of Job, the the people in the community that he went to, I feel like they 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 were very sincere. I feel like they felt like they had the knowledge to help him, but it was just the whole his his um his commitment to source, like most high God, right? His commitment to source just kind of sort of just, you know, in a very respectful way. He may have wanted to tell them people like, what, what did you say? Curse God? Oh, no, nah, mm -mm. I can do everything else but that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Right. I know who gave me breath. I'm not crazy. Right. Um, I feel like, you know, with that people meant well, but I, I feel like, um, you know, um, Again, I definitely see you continuing to honor source. And we're not talking about religion. That comes after spirituality, right? That was a set of rules. We're talking about returning to pure consciousness and saying, these are the gifts that source gave me to help other people and help myself, but also to help other change other people's um, lives for the better. And that's what I'm going to do. So seven of swords you know, came out twice. Like I said, sources further reiterating. So you and whoever you're coming towards, I mean, the stories that you all have bringing together as you're creating legacy wealth together are just like, y'all literally could write books. That's all I can tell you. Like somebody's gonna be like, wow, I can write books. I, I, I mean, wow, we could talk about this all day. It won't even be a trauma bond session. It'll just be more like, wow, you know, like you, you prayed for this energy to come into your life, but both of you all had to move away from other energies that kept trying to, um, you, they kept wanting you to warm up to them, but then they will do the switch thing. Like, you know, the bait and switch, right? Yeah. So something from your past definitely wants to resurface because of the length of time you've known them and may, or maybe you have family with them or connections with them in that way. But source is saying, keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Maybe you used to work with them and they starting to see like, oh, wow, we got to stick together in the workplace after they blow towards you. Oh, uh, uh we're not. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so somebody apologizes for betraying you. Mm -mm. Yeah. So 
They can apologize. Apologize. Apology accepted. Accepted. Access denied. Move on. So, yeah. So, make room for a new blessing. That's right. Make room for a new blessing coming or something you prayed for. Only you know that the spy is now turned on. Mm -mm -mm. So whoever was spying on you, and it's not a, always in a sexual way. Some people, somebody is turned on by the fact that, you know, um, you had the courage to stand up for your right. Like you had the courage to stand up for yourself, right? So somebody is turned on by that because you got away from toxic masculinity, right? Toxic masculinity. There was nothing that they saw that, and they didn't see anything in divine feminine energy at all. Like they couldn't even see the value of, to them, they saw it as a weakness, which is, which is, you know, they need to sit down and take some classes somewhere because you can't have divine masculine without divine feminine. It balances it out, right? And we all embody it all. So you're definitely dealing with a person who is aggressive and feels like they need to force their way onto other people. And that could have been something that came from their bloodline. But so it's just like you getting the heck away from them. You have the gift of precognition for knowledge, right? So moving forward, you're going to definitely use that. So yeah, don't return their call. Because what they're calling for, nothing. To apologize and then get into another argument and blame you again. Like what? Uh, who is doing all of that? Child, save, save your fingertips. Like stop dialing. <laughs> They could have a house phone. They could be like that rotary dial. Like they could be, just save it. Save your energy. Don't even waste your energy. Don't even, don't even waste your sweat dialing a number. Don't just to help, help yourself. <laughs> That's the frequency that you're on. You operating in love. You, you, you getting away from all that. Like, please don't call me. Leave my name off the list. <laughs> Leave my name off the list. Please <laughs> do us both a favor. Right. And again, you're doing it in love. You close out cycles. Like, you know, apology accepted. I, I heard you. I heard it through the wind. I heard it through the vibration of sound in the water when I was asleep. I heard it. I already heard it. Right. High priestess energy. Right. Access is still denied. Your, your, your time in their space has been fulfilled. And so source is saying, yeah, the, the energy that was sitting there watching you behind a curtain, you know, all you can see is one eyeball. They looking cause they scared and nervous. Now they turned on, oh my God, if they could, you know, um, they got their hands put together, you know, saying, God, if you did it for them, please do it for me. And that, that was, that was your, that was you helping them in the sense of saying, you know what, I'm not judging you because you were afraid to move on from some things. I just had to, I had to do what I needed to do for me. And hopefully that inspired you to move forward. So judging. So yeah, somebody is courting. Yeah. Somebody has a, um, a, um, somebody could be courting right now or, you know, some kind of partnership in business and or in love coming across your path. So, you know, hand in hand, eyeballs to eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Eyelash kisses. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. You absolutely deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. So yeah. Yeah. Eight of sticks. Yeah. Cause somebody, I mean, the more you, more you stay connected to those types of energy, you find yourself sabotaging yourself. You keep saying stuff that you feel like put your foot in your mouth, right? That's a form of self-sabotage. So I definitely see you moving on from those energy and then four of knives, right? Finally getting some rest. Finally, 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 just letting some things rest in peace. We have the seven of coins. And this, this is, um, you know, harvest time for you. It's, it's harvest time for you. Just letting some things just rest in peace and moving on. Yeah, just letting some things rest in, uh, in peace and moving forward, right? As you're getting ready for a partnership in love and or in business. You're leaving some things behind. But just know you've inspired a lot of people, Scorpios. You've inspired some people. So there's some growth here. Affirmations for growth. I'm a work in progress, period. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I'm in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunity. Yeah, somebody's learning how to adapt, you know, learning how to um, initiate change in your own life. Let's see. We got a number and uh, last card. We're going to close it out. So, yeah, good deal. Good, good, good for you. I'm telling you, sometimes, again, you stay close to these connections with energies that you don't even realize how they how they ref, how they see themselves actually is, reflects in how other people see you. Right. 
12, I am a visionary. So creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. One and two is three. You were absolutely born to inspire, but the car three started out, hey, you were on a, somebody was on a dark side of the number three. So busy. Talk, you know, like, okay, just because you've known somebody the longest does not mean that they are wiser than you are and vice versa. And so sources saying, or they could be older than you or younger than you, whatever it is, somebody had to go through a Job situation to see, well, wait a minute now, hold on. Let me slow down. Let me get my brains together. I can tap into, you're tapping into source, right? And so when you got to this posture of gratitude, like, I'm grateful for every little thing that happened in my life. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for, let me staying in the posture of gratitude. Even if you was crying, I'm grateful. So I don't even know what I was supposed to learn from this, but God, thank you for real. Like when you get to that point of just gratitude, I'm just so grateful that you just gave me another day to get it right. Thank you. When you on that frequency, so it's like, so now you're open to receiving some more things, right? So your ancestors were able to come through and pass the baton to give you some more, um, support more joy into your, to your, um, to your life, right. To pour more joy into your life. Uh, so yeah, we got everything. That's what I have for you. Scorpio Here are the questions for the moon and Capricorn. For those of you all who like the questions, first question is what are your top three priorities this week, month, and year? The second question is what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have uh, specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? The fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development, right? So just keep in mind that, you know, as the, um, as the smartest, the emo most uh, um, emotionally, the emotionally smartest sign in the Zodiac but not everybody can handle the same thing you can emotionally. It can cause somebody to just crack, like break, because you don't know what they've come from. And so source is saying, but when you sit with self, you get a chance to see how you can do a complete uh, purging of the toxins that energies may have left into your spirit. You can purge all of that and start pouring back into yourself. This is the, the king of cups compassion for yourself, but also compassion for other energies that God sends across your path and just kind of sort of what they can handle and what they can't handle. That's what I have for you. Um, cause that's going to make somebody very wealthy, not just in money, but also wealthy and just adding to your creativity and actually sharpening your gifts to help better other people creatively. That's going to make people want to like, I mean, like, like, attach themselves to you in business and your love relationships. So remember, while somebody's praying for love relationships and also business relationships, sources go, you're so highly magnetic right now, Scorpio, that everything is attracted to you. You feel like, oh my God, I got so many options coming at me, but some of them are good. Some of them are not the things that's trying to attach themselves. Like on the dark side, it's like, you know, it's like a, like I said, a domino effect. Somebody says something negative about you. Here come 15 other people up the back saying the same negative. So, oh my, I had a bad experience. I had a bad, but on the good side of that. So you, you have to be the person that says, okay, I'm taking a sword out and I'm, I'm cutting off that negativity altogether. And I'm sitting with self, right? But then the good things are coming through because you're asking source. Okay. So why do these come back up in my spirit? But then source is saying, but I got some good news for you too. These are things that you've been praying for. I need you to focus on that. So while you're asking God about the negatives in your life and say, okay, what was the, what was, what was the lesson I was supposed to learn about that? You're also asking God to pod, thanking God for the positives that's coming in your cross your path to the things you feel like you're a, a blessing to you. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully those questions have helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.